Hello guys, welcome for this new Shopify tutorial. So today we will have a look at how to connect your Shopify store with your analytics account. So analytics will help you to analyze what's going on on your website. So the behavior of your users to analyze your acquisitions and your conversions. And we will see how to connect in five easy steps your analytics account with your Shopify store. But first, let's have a quick break. Let's start. So we we'll have we we'll have two windows open at the same time. So the first one, so your Shopify store back office and then your analytics account. So first you need to create a new analytics account. So with your Google account or your Gmail account. So you will have this first page. So you will give your account name. So then you will choose to analyze your website. And so then you will give the, the URL of your online shop and then you will give the category and your time zone and just click on create your property. And then so we are ready to configure. So the first step, so it's with the tracking ID. So here we'll just copy paste the tracking ID and go on your Shopify store administration. Go on preferences. So on your left, just scroll a bit and you will just copy paste at this place your Google Analytics ID. Just then save and then you will select the enhanced e-commerce setting and save again. And that's it for the first step. So then the second step, so we'll just, so we'll configure the view. So here you will go on view settings. So here you should have the right URLs for your domain name. Then you will choose the currency you will have on your website. Just be sure here you will exclude the bots and spider. Here we will analyze the search on your website. So just put the letter Q and then save. So then second step, so we will uh, configure the e-commerce settings. So just right below here, so we'll click on it and we'll just activate the e-commerce setting on analytics. So to be able to track all statistics about your sales on your website. So we'll activate both. And so here we'll just configure the steps we will have on your website. So it's basically quite simple. We have three steps. So the first one about the contact information. The second one about the shipping method. And the third one about the payment method. So I will do a new video about how to analyze these steps on your analytics account. So then save. Okay, now third steps. So then it depends really if you are working at home or at your office. So purpose is just to exclude some traffic from IP address. So to have more accurate statistic. Here you will go on filters and add filter and you will just ex exclude IP address traffic. So for instance, if you are at home, most of the, of the time you will have a dynamic IP address. So it's not so useful because it will change almost every day. But if you are working at your office, it's something you really have to do. So here, as an example, I will just put my IP address and I will save. Let's move forward. And with one of the most important configuration, it's the creation of our goal to analyze each step of the customer journey of our customers. So it's one of the most important configuration to do with your analytics. So it will help you to understand at which step of your website your customers live 
And so then with this analysis, you could uh, do some modification on the website and to understand more what's going on. Okay, so you will click on new goal. So here we'll start with a template. So buy merchandise. So here we can just rename, create, create an order. So the type is a destination. So I will give you all information on my website. So you will just have to copy past all the information I will give you now. So here you just have to select regular expression and you will copy past this one. Just check you have no space. And then so we'll start to, to configure the funnel. So the first one, it's the home page. So then the collection pages. Okay, so we have or eight steps configured, just then save. And so then to analyze this goal, so I will uh, do another video to explain to you how to analyze and how to understand what you could improve on your website based on this goal. Okay, so let's move forward with the next one. So a very quick one. So if you go back just here on property settings, we will just only activate demographics and interest report. And then, so the last one, so if you go on tracking info and then referral exclusion list, so here you will see that analytics by default already added the domain name. And so here we'll uh, also add the shoppingfight.com domain name. And if you are using PayPal, we'll also add PayPal domain name. So if we don't do that, uh, the main problem you will have when you will start to analyze your sales and your sales channel, your acquisition channel, you will see that the referral will come every time from Shopify.com or for instance for PayPal.com. And so you will not be able to analyze the original source of your sale and you will have every time Shopify.com or for instance, paypal.com. So here you will just add a new domain name. So here we have checkout.shippingfy.com. And because I know, so I will also have paypal. So I will just add paypal.com. Okay, here we are. So with this uh, five step to configure in the right way, your Shopify store and your analytics. So give a try and by doing these five easy steps, so you will start with the right setup. So if you have any questions, just write your comment right below the video or have a look at my website and you, I will give you more tips and advice as well. Okay, have a nice day, bye.